What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sky Jordan. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the best auto tune settings in FL Studio Mobile. I'm going to show you how to set it up. Make sure you're always in the right key, right BPM, all that good shit. That's very important when it comes to using FL Studio Mobile. And with that being said, I want you to look at the screen right now. As we see on the screen, we got Song Key Finder and we got MP3 BPM. So make sure you go to these websites. They're not all the way 100% perfect. But you just upload the beat in here and it's going to give you the BPM and the key and you'll be good to go, right? So we have BPM and we have Song Key Finder. So I just want to get that out there. That's going to be in the description below. So we're just going to go back to FS Studio Mobile and I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, we go over here to our recording. We go to Output and we're going to go to Auto Pitch, okay? So Auto Pitch is on. I have a beat in here. I know the BPM. The BPM... It's like 140, and I know the key is G minor. So, I'm going to just show you something. So, I'm going to show you something. So, we're going to turn this down, and we're going to play it. Just we can play it, I'm going to show you how the easiest way to set it. So, here we go. Yo, yo. Okay, so, key. Go to key. Go to G. Shawty. So, it's not really hit, right? Shawty. Put it to 100. Like, nah, 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 nah. It's not really smooth, right? So you want to go over here where it say F mode. You want to turn. You want to turn it on. Say shawty won't body won't body. Yeah, shawty won't body. So like it, like you turn that off, it gets glitchy. You know what I'm saying? With F mode off, it's glitchy. So you turn it back on. So you dun, 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 dun. See, my scale was already a minor scale. So like my scale was already a minor scale. So we were good. So that's the thing you want to be aware of. On this, you want to turn the speed up to 100. And then if you don't want that much, you just dial it back to where you want it right you could put it at 77 if you want to but i like to start at 100 to make sure it's working so you see the more i talk it's in here like the tune is on tune on tune on tune on i dial it back it kind of goes away a little bit it goes away a little bit good you know what i'm saying um don't mess with the pitch you know because if you mess with pitch this will happen you know it'll get all weird don't mess with the pitch don't do it same thing fine tune if you want to, you don't have to. You don't have to touch that. And then format shift. Format shift. That's when you turn the deep voice. Right? Deep voice. Okay. Cool. Because the thing with auto tune or just any pitch correction is you got to have format in there. Right? The format has to be active. So we have it. We good. So what we can do is go here. Or we can just save it as um what g minor g minor say so boom and then you want to add more effects to it to make it sound good right so um what's it we got auto tune uh what we need need some reverb <clears throat> yeah 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 uh -huh. Now we good. Now we play it. I fought with Shotty on the low. I fought with Shotty on the low. I fought with Shotty on the low. Damn my Shotty. Damn my Shotty. Oh, damn my Shotty. Oh, damn my Shotty. So that's it. That's real easy, right? Easy. You can set whatever you want with effects with it. But 
the main thing is you make sure you want to get the auto pitch correct that is the hard part about it speed again speed 100 then you dial it back to what you want all right make sure the key is right the scale is right make sure you turn f mode on and leave it at 1.0 that is the best way to do this you know what i'm saying um make sure the scale is correct it's either gonna be a major or minor scale that's why i gave you this website to go to upload your beat and make sure you find out the key and the scale because that's very important you know i'm not gonna sit here and just talk your head off and just pound this shit around but it's like um make sure the key is right the scale is right the speed is whatever you want it to be and make sure f mode is on if f mode is not on you're gonna have problems you know what I'm saying? it's gonna sound glitchy so again if i turn f mode off it's gonna be glitchy like it's glitchy right now so like f mode has to be on you know what i'm saying like it's on i'm good but if i turn it off i turn it off it's gonna be glitchy 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 we don't want that we want smooth so when i turn it on it's smooth you feel what i'm saying so and then you can mess with the speed die that bag if you want however you choose to do it but make sure the key is correct the scale is correct speed is correct whatever you want it to be and make sure f mode is on it's that simple again key scale speed f mode that's all you need and then if you want to record with reverb and delay and add a compressor whatever put that after it you know what i'm saying make sure this is on correctly and also make sure you can monitor yourself when you're recording all right that's it but listen make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel it's your boy sky jordan i'm out of here now go record with that fl studio mobile shit right now go ahead go ahead like the video and subscribe first though all right <laughs>